Hello besties! Today we took a train out to Sanrio Puroland. This was the day we met up with Selena and Tobias from Babels and Fashion and Surface Studios and started the second leg of our journey. The train station was absolutely amazing. It had this huge stained glass window mural at the top, um, which was obviously Hello Kitty themed because everything is Hello Kitty themed around here. <laughs> From the station, it's just a short walk past some pastry shops that we stopped at um, to get to San Rio Poro Land. It's pretty hard to miss because it's covered in a giant rainbow. We were mostly here to do shopping, so we got a late entry ticket, which happens after 4 p.m. and is quite a bit cheaper than just a general admission. We went straight for the gift shop, and we both binge shop stationery, which is always fun. After that we headed to the Enchanted Forest area, which they were in the middle of a giant parade kind of song and dance show, um, but we slipped through that and went straight to the cafeteria because we were all starving. We decided to each get something slightly different so we could see as many different cute foods as possible. The food was pretty okay. It was what you would expect from a food court, but it was super cute so you can't complain. <laughs> And I ate Hello Kitty's face, so that's always a plus. Uh, poor Kitty's gonna have a bad day today. <laughs> <laughs> that's mature. I'm very mature. It's okay. It's not great. <laughs> we took our time while we were eating and snacking, uh, so a lot of the attractions were closed after that. So instead we went straight to the Purikura slash UFO Machine Center, where, after much trial and effort, we used Unicorn to win four pieces of candy, like adults! <laughs> we headed up to Lady Kitty's house. There was still a little bit of a line to get in there, um, so we just really looked at the outside and took photos in the carousel. Like adults! <laughs> In case you're wondering, this is pretty much what I want my house to look like. By that point, there was another parade in the middle section. Um, again, lots of singing. So we had a quick look through that, waited for it to disperse a little bit, and went to the very top of the tree where the wishing area is. Pretty much everything else was closed at this point, and since we'd done most of our shopping, we decided to call it a day after Selena failed at getting a gachapon. Selena's gonna win on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna win stuff. Gotta turn to the left. Gotta turn this way. Okay. What'd you get? What did you get? Yeah, this is a children's toy, right? It's pretty cute. I don't want this. Take it back. <laughs> Give me that. Well, do a dance. No, they didn't. <laughs> Vaguely representative of your characters and poses. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Lastly, we tried to get some more gachapons at the Claw Machine Arcade on the way back to the train station. It still feels pretty like you've got room. I don't know. Uh, it just feels similar to show. <laughs> yeah, it's <curry. laughs> You just need to record. <laughs> it, it is recording. <laughs> okay, it's weird. <laughs> People are staring at us not for a good reason. <laughs> After all of that excitement, we decided to do something a little bit more grown up um, and went for sushi for dinner. Of course, after the sushi was finished, we decided that the toy Selena got from the gachapon was cool enough that we needed to go to the giant Yorubashi gachapon to find more Sailor Moon toys. Like a doll! We didn't find me that night, but the search continued. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's more details about Sanrio Poroland in the description, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>